Hello, my name is Jim Caraba, and I'm an agricultural safety specialist. And today I'm going to talk about um, uh, retrofit PTO shields and, and power shafts. So this is a, a, a piece of a PTO driveline, and it has a, a replacement PTO shield on it. And this is made by a company called uh, Bearco. So Bearco is an Australian company, and our center um, has become sort of a dealer, and we, we sell these through our PPE store um, in their replacement drive lines. Um, they meet all the latest shieldings, uh, latest standards for, for PTO shielding. And um, this is how a, a PTO shaft is, is set up. Um, you'll have a shield that goes over the universal joint, and there's a bearing uh, in the, uh, the bearing groove. So this shield slides up onto that, that uh, bearing. And then the Bearco shields, the replacement shields, have locking levers which hold it in place on the bearing. Um, so that's, that's a really good feature of these. If you need to grease the universal joint, you can open up the levers and slide it back from the universal joint to access the, the grease fitting, which is inside the middle of that, that universal joint. Um, or if the uh, shielding is in the way to hook this up to the, the stub shaft on the, tr the tractor, you can pull that shield back, connect, connect your PTO shaft, and then lock your shielding back in place. Um, and this is the way a, a shield protects you. Um, here's the actual PTO or the power shaft, PTO shaft or power shaft. So that has to have a shield on it to protect people that may contact that, contact that accidentally. Um, so the shield is up on that, sh that shaft, and when it's spinning inside there, the shield protects me from getting wrapped up on there. But sometimes these, these components break, so it's, it's good that there's replacement shields out there that you can get. And these are the, um, the two main sizes of PTO shielding that Bearco offers. There's the uh, large diameter shaft and then the small diameter shield. Uh, and when you get these shields, you'll get an assortment of bearings like this. So you find the bearing that fits on your shaft, and that's the one you use, and it would be on either end. Um, and then you, you would uh, put your shaft together and attach it and slide that um, uh, shield up onto the bearing. And that's how that works. And the nice thing about these two is that the individual components are replaceable. So if the, the yellow bell housing breaks down, you can buy just the bell housing. You don't have to buy the entire shield. Or if any of the, the locking levers break, you could buy just the locking levers to replace that. And it comes with an extra wide bellows too if you had a, uh, a constant velocity joint or something of that nature. 